Hey everybody, Accurus here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So this is going to be the Iron Man of Timberwolf Mountain series. Basically the idea is we're going to start on Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to survive only on Timberwolf Mountain. And it's going to be all done in stalker mode. So that's the gauntlet that I have thrown down for myself and I have decided to pick it up and run with it. So I'm, I'm throwing stuff down and then I'm just picking it right back up. All right, anyway, so uh, we're on version point three zero one, and uh, this is just a hot fix. They're, they've uh, done some bug fixes here and there for Timberwolf Mountain, the big update, uh, that which was point uh, two nine eight, but uh, nothing really new to talk about. No new features added that I that I can tell. So anyway, here we go. Stalker mode. Your demise waits behind every hilltop, shelter, and tree. Only by skill and determination can you snatch another hour from death's hungry jaws. For players who are looking for a punishingly challenging survival experience. Yes, please. Timberwolf Mountain. For advanced players, an isolated alpine region with very few shelters or resources. A true test of wilderness survival skills. And we don't even need to pretend that that even exists down there. Because we ain't leaving Timberwolf Mountain. We will be, we will be born and die on that mountain. Alright, so here we go. We'll be Will McKenzie this time, and we shall call this one Iron Man. There we go, let's start it up. Mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Hopefully for quite a while. But, uh, I don't know. Timberwolf Mountain has been extremely tough for me. So, uh, I don't know. I am a little bit... Oh my god, we're starting at night. It's negative 19 degrees, and, uh, I'm not sure where we're at. Um... Well, let's... Wow, the wind's really hard that way. So let's go this way. I don't know where we're at, but uh, it's bitter out. Look at that. <laughs> we are getting frozen immediately. We don't have much to work with. Alright, let's go and get to here. Okay. Some rose hips. Alright, well, at least we've got something with... We can make some tea... Some rosehip tea if we ever make it somewhere where we can actually make tea. What is this? A rope? We got ourselves a rope. Um, okay, let's do it. Uh, I want to get down. As long as there's no bears down here. Luckily, going down is much easier than going up. I figure at least if we're down here, we're getting the wind blocked a little bit. I don't know. Okay. So, next thing I'm expecting to see is a bear come jumping out from behind one of these rocks and just uh, devour me immediately. Negative 19 degrees. Oh, that's so bad. How much darkness is left? One hour of darkness. So, it's almost daytime. It's almost daylight. I don't know what the big deal is. Quit your whining, right? I can't see. I can't see crap. I'm looking for a cave or something like that. Oh, caves are, caves are pretty nice. Caves are actually... Um, indoor areas. They're considered indoor areas. Um, the l Most caves, I should say. They have a loading screen. Uh, they're actually a little bit safer to hole up in than, uh, than the... Uh, I still don't know where I'm Can't at. Feel my feet. Is this a cave? I need, I need a cave or something. I need something. They're actually safer than the cabin, so I don't think I'm going to be making the cabin my... Uh, base anymore. I'm going to try to find a cave if I survive that long. Uh, so far it's not looking very good. Alright, let's grab a couple sticks. We don't have a hatchet or anything, so we're going to need a couple sticks just to warm up. Alright. Goddamn freezing. That's right. It is cold. Uh, okay. What is this? Is that a cave? That's a cave, but that's not the type of cave I'm looking for. Well, maybe it is. No, I don't think it goes in too far. It's going to be pretty cold inside of here. Maybe we can get something. Maybe we'll find something in here. What's the temperature in here? Oh, it's, it's a whopping three degrees. What we got here? Cedar firewood. Hey, that's good. Because we cannot create our own firewood. Um, thinking what I'll do is I'm just going to hold up here, start a fire, and try to make it <laughs> warm up these... Uh, these bones and try to uh, make it to morning at least. At least until the weather lifts. Uh, 65%. Ah, we got accelerant. Good. We'll take it. 
Let's do it. 100% chance of success. Get this fire going. Hey, I am going to add the fuel. I'm going to cook up a little bit of uh, water while we're here. Yeah, actually, let's do that real quick. Do 0.4 gallons. There we go. They're no longer freezing to death. Now let's go ahead and boil 0.4. The wind still sounds very wicked out there. What's our temperature in here now? I'm just curious. 52 degrees. All right, well, that's way better than what it was, so, hey, I'm happy. We're at 96% uh, condition. I'm not going to rest to bring that up. That's not that bad, so I'm just going to sit here and try to continue to make water uh, with this. I really have nothing else to do. I guess I can make... Uh, I was going to say I can make some rose hip tea, but I don't think I have enough rose hips. I think you need two or... Th I think you need two of those. All right, there we go. I'm going to grab a torch from here, too. Maybe a couple torches. Just for travel. I don't think I had a... F I don't think I have a flare, so... Let's see here. 36 degree bonus there. It's, four, it's a whopping 46 degrees in here standing right by this fire. So you, that tells you how cold it is. Oh my gosh. It's horrible conditions out there. That is just nasty. This is wicked, wicked. Alright, well. We've got an hour and 13 minutes left on this fire. So uh, let's just keep making a little bit of water here. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the torches out of there while we can. Yeah, let's grab the torches out. Take a torch. Let's extinguish that. Yeah, I'll probably take another one. Holster that. Just so we have two torches. A torch takes away 20 minutes of burn time from your fire, so for each one that you take. At least that's the way it was. I don't, it seems about right. Alright, it feels like 32, so even next to this fire, it's that cold. Well, at least we're warm. Um, let's go ahead and get a drink. we got some water now. We're well underway. And uh, we're just going to see... We're just going to see if this weather clears. Uh, let's see if we can boil, like, maybe another point... Oh, that's too much. Point two gallons. Might be dirty water, but that's okay. As long as we have seven minutes left, it should we should be able to boil this, I think. I think we have enough time to boil this. It was 13 minutes. There we go. That's about right. Alright. Well, let's take a peek out here, see what we got. Oh yeah, it looks it looks horrible. Is that rain? No, it's like a blizzard. It's like a foggy blizzard. That's horrible. Negative 52 degrees. I really shouldn't leave this, but uh, I need to find some wood or something. This is wicked. Oh my gosh. I think my torch will blow out really fast too. I can't imagine there being any wolves out in this. I think it might be the only benefit to it. I, I, I don't know the area well enough to tell you even where I'm going. But we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try to affect survival, get off the X, and not just die a slow death in the uh, in the cave. Yeah, we're gonna be very cold here, very quick. Yeah, that's not taking long at all. It's eating right through us. I would go grab that. Normally, I would go grab the uh, old man's beard over there to the to the right, but I'm not even going to bother with it. Uh, crow feathers. What is that? Oh, it's just a hoof. All right, let's keep going. This might be the world's shortest series. Maybe if I can get up next to this rock, at least for a second, we'll have some cover. 14 degrees. Yeah, it's the wind that's killing us. All right, where does this go? Can we get down from here? No, no. Are we? Do I just waste time coming over here? 
No, we can cross over, I think. This is uh, treacherous in this type of conditions. Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, I've never been across that log. Oh, whew. That was gonna... That was gonna fall off there at the very end. Okay. Alright, come on. <laughs> it's just killing every living th creature that it comes across, isn't it? What is that? Oh, it's just a stick. Okay. Gotta keep an eye out for these, uh, these caves. I don't know. Don't know where we're at, but we'll just keep going. What's the temperature at? Still negative 51 degrees. Okay. If you heard something in the background there, no, they did not introduce uh, mountain lions into the game. It's just my kitty cat. He's uh, in one of those moods. All right, I think I know where we're at. This is familiar. I know, I know this. I know this little. Uh, I know that little hollowed-out tree. There should be a cave down here, actually. But we don't need to go that way. We need to go this way if we're going to survive. It's going to be tough for me to figure this out w without being able to see more than. You know, 100, 150 feet in front of me. Our clothes have got to be taken a beating too, by the way. Now there should be a wing or something like a wing section of the aircraft down here. I can't believe they put us into this situation straight away. Of course, this is survivor mode. It's not for the faint of heart. I will probably catch pneumonia. That's the problem. And I don't think I have... I think... Well, no, I do have antibiotics, don't I? I'm going to need those sticks. Birch bark. At Axis tinder. Okay, well, we got the wind at our back, at least. I think I go this way. So far, this seems right. So far, this seems to be the right way. Okay. Let's head down here. Eight minutes for each stick that we pick up. It's eight minutes of of fire. Okay, I think I need to go this way. Oh, I think this will take me to Crystal Lake, which is where the uh, where the shack is, the cabin, the only cabin in this map. I'm hoping I can get there. 
Let's try not to sprain a leg either. Oh, like that. Okay, if that has old man's beard hanging down from... No, nope, I thought that was... Okay, that's... I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure if I'm on the right track. Everything else in this world is like, you're crazy if you go out in this crit. Of course, they all have fur covering them. Okay, I think I need to maybe go back this way. I think. Oh, baby. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That just felt like the valley where I've cut so many sticks. Or broken down so many branches. Oh my gosh, can't believe I made it here. Wow. Now, I haven't made it to the summit or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of the areas that I haven't been to. Uh, I'm not familiar with. Seven degrees in here. We're going to need to get a fire going quick. Uh, let's see, we got two arrows over there. That looks good. Let's get this. This is a down ski jacket. That's going to be nice. Hopefully it's in good condition. Let's get it on straight away. Come on. 87%. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. So we're up to 10 degrees. All right, um, a flare, some cold, or some peaches, a whetstone. So we're gonna eat those peaches straight away. Let's see if we can cloth. Okay, let's see if we can get anything else that can help warm us up. Of course we can make rose hip tea if we wanted to, but uh, so we got some of the wood. We got plenty of wood actually. Let's grab these wood matches. All right, so let's use birch bark. No more accelerant. Uh, it's the same. Same as using the cedar, so let's just go ahead and get this started. Wow, I, I'm really kind of shocked um, that I was able to find the cabin. Because uh, I, uh, I tried to do a series last night, and uh, I had some audio problems. Uh, so that got, that got uh, 86 But I spent one complete episode just basically going in a big circle <laughs> I was literally lost just like you would you would hear about in the wilderness so all right and it wasn't far from this cabin it was literally like one or two hills away so I'm shocked that I was able to do that there we go let's cook up some of this food here real quick we are a little bit peckish uh, let's just bust it open got to do it heat those peaches up. 35% of it was lost. I don't really care about the calories so much. I'm, I'm more concerned about actually getting the uh, the heat into our body to get us off of the where's that? To get us uh, off out of freezing. Out of the zone of being frozen. So there we go. We got a nice little bump there. Got rid of that freezing icon. So we're warming up. Uh, we're getting a nice little bonus, too, for the warm-up. Feels like 49 degrees in here. We survived six hours, and uh, so far, life's pretty good. Okay, so let's walk around the cabin here a little bit. Uh, crate. What else can we see here? Newspaper. Let's see what's in the drawer. Probably a can opener, <laughs> knowing our luck. Nope. Mountaineering rope. We'll take it. Uh, a rifle cleaning kit and a sewing kit. Two simple arrows. What kind of condition are they? I saw the second one was in 41% condition. The other one's 53, okay. So, they're in so-so condition. Uh, climber's Journal, here we go. September 5th, arrived at the base of Timberwolf Mountain. Looks like there are some nice cracks, just like Clive said. Going to set up a top rope and do some bouldering until the others show up. Hopefully soon. September 6th. Wondering if my friends got lost, as they still haven't arrived. Woke up in the night to a deafening noise and fire in a fire and fire on the mountain. Went to check it out, but the weather got nasty and I couldn't find my way. September 7th. Clear day. I went out again and found some metal cargo crates. They look like they might have come from a plane. There's still smoke coming from the summit. I'm heading out to see if I can make it to the peak and learn more about what's going on. Okay. Well, climber's journal, so... Well, let's see what it looks like out here now. 
take a peek. Well, hey, at least we can see. There's a wolf out. Some of the wildlife has finally decided to come out. 33 degrees out here. Is it, is it actually that warm? That's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll go over here and check out the... Uh, check out the... Uh, check out that fishing hut real quick. While we're here. See if there's anything in here, too. Sometimes there's items. I've seen a couple items in here. Oh, there. Like this. Fishing tackle and a hunting knife. It pays to check your rowboats. Alright. So that's good. That's a big help, actually. The hunting knife is huge. What we really need is a hatchet, though. Hatchet will be, uh... The life or death uh, of us. Because we need to be able to chop up uh, large pieces of wood. And it's the only tool that can do so. You would think that the hacksaw... You'd be able to cut up branches, fallen branches with hacksaw, but for some reason you can't, so it is what it is. If we can't find a hatchet in here, we're going to have to uh, go looking for some caves. Alright, so we got a cloth, I could use more this. fishing tackle, a down vest, which is redundant because we already have the uh, down ski jacket. Another cloth, which is good. So we should be able to heal up some clothing that's probably very, very damaged from that blizzard we got caught in, but we didn't have a choice, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see here, let's see if we can find anything hiding down there, nope, nothing. Nothing hiding on top, I don't think I see anything up here, or up here, All right? okay, let's keep going. Alright, so, we'll head on back, warm up, get a little bit of rest, because we're a little winded, and uh, try to get out, and I know where there's some uh, plane cargo crates in the area and it seems like each crate has its own theme like one will be medicine another one might be food another one might be a drink cart has fallen out of the plane and then uh, some of them you get lucky and it's clothing uh, so that's pretty good but uh, I know where to find one in this area I'm trying to think if I know where to f well actually where we came from there's another one too uh, so I do know where to find a couple how much time we got left? We've got two hours. I think we should just uh, probably need to rest, actually, and warm up. So let's do that, because we need to get our stamina back up and try to get out there, at least get some items before the uh, before nightfall. Ideally, a hatchet, at least. So, all right, let's just uh, sleep for two, see how we're doing. Plus, our condition needs to improve significantly. We are in a bad state. Sixty-nine percent condition, not much better, but uh, I think we'll just take a torch from here, and we'll just walk. Torches don't seem to do a whole heck. Of, oh, we got some light there too. Torches don't seem to do a whole heck of a lot, a lot against these uh, wolves, but they do help keep you warm. So we'll take it. I think the first one we'll go to is where I'm going to grab some sticks. Uh, oh, I don't know. I hate that one of the things I hate is uh, when I go to pick up a stick if I'm not exactly on it I start swinging my torch and it kills the life of the torch oh well I should be more careful that's you know I know that it happens it's happened to me so many times that I have really no one to blame but myself so it is what it is all right let's see if we can get over here and find some uh, some cargo I think we'll just go right up over here. This is normally the way that I come into the camp. Somehow I missed and ended up behind the uh, cabin. I was thinking when I was trying to find the cabin, I was going to come right up over that hill in the center of the screen. And I was going to see this downed tree on the lake with the uh, old man's beard. And uh, that was going to be my reference point to know where I was at. Plus, when you walk up to it, it says, you know, new location discovered, Crystal Lake. I mean, that's kind of a tip, too. But... Uh, Let's go ahead and grab some old man's beard while we're here. Because we're going to need that to make an antiseptic bandage. I don't know if we have a bottle of antiseptic. If we started with one, I need to check that real quick. So let's check that real quick here, see what we got for medicine. Holy crap, we have like no medicine. Okay, so let's not sprain an ankle. Which really isn't anything necessarily that we're doing wrong. Hopefully we find a medical cart. So I want a clothing... Uh, there's a wolf. I'm going to need a medical cart. Because... Uh, that could be very dangerous. 
getting a sprained ankle and not having any painkillers whatsoever. It's a, that's a tough, it's been a tough start, honestly. That's a very tough start. I actually had, I was messing around when the, when the little ones were sleeping and uh, this afternoon and uh, not recording or anything like that. I just started a game the same way I did here and it started me right at the doorstep of that cabin. I was like, and it was like a nice day and everything. And it was stalker mode. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. So there's a bear out wandering around, as you can see. So got a lot of wood already. I think I got about two hours worth of sticks, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So this is the this is where I thought I was going to come up and over. There's a old man's beard down there, but I think uh, I think the wolf has the has control of that zone at the moment. All right. So this is where we came through and somehow I ended up turning too early and going behind the cabin but this is the wing that I was talking about and there's some drink carts and or storage carts or whatever storage crates over here right in the middle of the screen so we're gonna go for those try to skirt around to the left of this wolf the best we can um, I don't know if let me, let me see something here um, well, do we have a torch? I got one flare. That's right. I picked up one flare inside the cabin. Wow, they didn't even start me with a flare. That's tough. Alright, let's see if we can get there. It looks like he's walking away. That's going to be good for us. Temperature's starting to drop a little bit, but our cold's only halfway down. It's so much easier to find your way around when you can actually see, you know more than 50 yards in front of you. Oh, he's coming back. Son of a gun. And I, do we have a hacksaw? We do. Okay, we're going to need to use that to get in. Uh, I might wait. I'm going to wait for him to actually... I don't want to burn up my flare. It's my one and only flare. I'm going to move back a little bit, wait for him to turn around, then rush down there and check those boxes. You know. As much as I really want to run down there, I don't think it's smart to use that resource that way. Especially when it's the only flare I have. And we really don't have enough to make an aseptic bandage. Uh, AKA old man's beard bandage. And these torches, I don't know. Swinging them around at the wolves, just its it really has never worked for me. I must be doing it wrong, or maybe it doesn't work for anybody else. But uh, the only thing that I can really use to deter wolves other than a rifle or a bow and arrow which obviously will handle will do will handle the job no problem uh is the uh the flare all right now get away from me dude you start coming up here i'm gonna have to back all the way off all right i'm gonna start backing down here Okay, he's back down. Okay. All right. He switched switched directions on us here, so we can move down here. Oh, jeez, there's a bear. I wonder if they'll run from the bear. That'd be kind of nice. The bears really aren't that bad because they don't, I mean, unless you get danger close to them, they don't charge you. They just sort of meander along. They'll kind of turn and follow you a little bit, but it's real, sort of a, sort of a lazy uh, way that you go about it. All right. Kind of want to stand up, but I have a feeling I'm too close to him. I'm afraid he'll ping me. If he does, I guess I can always run past the bear and see what happens. Could lead him past the oh, gosh. Can't go over that. Now we're starting to freeze again. Okay, let's make a move. All right. Let's get into this box. Give me something great. Come on. Oh, it's 
It's gonna be a food cart. Come on, yep, 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 yep. I, I accept it all. I mean, that's good, but... wonder where that, that bear's gonna be at. Come on, ah, oh, it's just drinks. Oh, no. There's another cart up in front of us, actually. So hopefully we can get to it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, you're gonna be fine, dude. Holy crap, that bear is getting close. Innocent. Okay, good enough. Time to bounce. Let him have the... Uh... We'll come back. We'll come back. He's clearing the way for us, though. Oh my gosh. Is the temperature higher? 14 degrees. I still got more in that medical cart. Did I get any pain meds from that? I'm just curious. No, nothing. No pain meds. We did get antiseptic, though. Hopefully we don't sprain our ankle. Alright guys. Well, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, <laughs> it's, I know, normally I uh, end it on a save game, but uh, I think it's going to be a while before we actually have a save game. So, like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar, or if you want to be a producer on my videos, make sure you head over to patreon.com forward slash accurate2. For as little as $1 a month, you can be a producer on all my videos. Thank you so much for watching. You all take care, and I'll see you in the next one.